Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Slew Rate Measurements. In this presentation, we'll provide a brief technical introduction to slew rate, why slew rate is important for switching mode power supplies, and how slew rate is measured using an oscilloscope. Since we'll be discussing slew rate primarily in the context of switching mode power supplies and switching loss, this presentation assumes a basic familiarity with these topics. If you're not already familiar with these topics, or if you'd like a brief review, you might want to watch the presentations Understanding Switching Mode Power Supplies and or Understanding Switching Loss Measurements before beginning this presentation. Slew rate is the rate at which voltage or current changes over time. Measuring and or controlling slew rate is very important in a wide variety of applications. For example, higher slew rates can lead to greater electromagnetic interference since fast rise times create higher frequency harmonic content. Reducing or limiting slew rate is the most common approach in dealing with high inrush currents in electrical or electronic devices. But in some cases, a high slew rate is actually desirable, such as in the case of switching or switch mode power supplies, and this is a topic we'll be covering in more detail in this presentation. Although they're related, it's important not to confuse rise time and slew rate. As the name implies, rise time is a time. That is, rise time is a measure of how long it takes for a waveform to transition from a low level to a high level. And since it's a measure of time only, the units of rise time are seconds, although in practice, rise times are often on the order of milliseconds or microseconds. Slew rate, again, as the name implies, is a rate of change. Unlike rise time, slew rate also incorporates the amount of amplitude change. In this example, we'll call our voltage change delta V. Slew rate, therefore, is expressed in units of volts, or amps, per second. Note that for both rise time and slew rate, we have to define the low and high levels. Most often, these levels are defined as 10% and 90% of the maximum waveform amplitude, although in some cases you may see them defined as 20 and 80% levels. Now let's come back to the importance of slew rate in switching power supplies. MOSFETs and other power switching devices dissipate very little power in their on and off states. That is, when the switch is off or open, the voltage across the open switch is high, but there's no current flowing through the switch. So power, the product of voltage and current, dissipated by the switch is zero. Conversely, in the on or conducting state, there is zero voltage drop across the switch, and thus the product of voltage and current is again zero, meaning no power loss. However, during the transitions between the on and off states, both voltage and current are non-zero, and power will therefore be dissipated by the switching device. A higher slew rate means these transitions happen more quickly, and thus a higher slew rate will decrease the amount of power lost. But recall that, as mentioned before, a higher slew rate may increase the level of transients, or other higher frequency content, present in the output signal. Since slew rate is essentially a time domain measurement, it's normally measured using an oscilloscope and appropriate probes. In power electronics measurements, differential voltage probes are often used, since these are well suited for measuring the potentially high and or non-ground reference voltages across a switching device. For current slew rate measurements, a suitable current probe can be used. Cursors are then used to measure the amplitude and time and calculate slew rate. Although slew rate measurements are very straightforward, accurate results require that both the oscilloscope and the probes have sufficient bandwidth to measure high slew rate signals, as well as sufficient dynamic range to measure both the low and high levels. This is particularly important in the case of modern power electronics, where switching speeds or frequencies may be very high. Let's end with a brief summary. Slew rate is defined as the rate of voltage or current change per unit time, and thus is reported as volts or amperes per second. 
In many applications, a high slew rate is undesirable. But one very important exception is a switching mode power supply, where a high slew rate reduces the amount of power lost or dissipated during the transitions between the on and off states. Slew rate is measured using an oscilloscope and appropriate voltage or current probes. Although the measurement is very simple to make, it's important to ensure that both the scope and the probes have sufficient bandwidth and dynamic range, particularly when measuring signals with very high slew rates. This concludes our presentation, Understanding Slew Rate Measurements. If you'd like to learn more about power electronics or how oscilloscopes are used for making different types of power measurements, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.